Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 17. So today is a pretty big day. Uh, and the reason it's a big day is it's going to be the first opportunity for us to really put course play to the test. Now, I'll admit these initial uh, courses that I have recorded have been done pretty much in a big hurry. Uh, and that's because um, some things going on in real life have really gotten me down and really got me... Um, sort of looking for an outlet, and right now this game is my outlet. This is the game that, uh, of all the games that I've played on the channel and have played personally in the last you know few weeks or, or, or months or so, this is my go-to right now for the most enjoyment. So I'm using this as basically my therapy session. This is my opportunity to get away from it all in a very uh, in a very real way, if only. Uh, temporarily. So this is going to be a big day because as you can see I have fast forwarded time and we are now uh, we are on the next day. We'll call it day two for our purposes right now. Uh, and so we've done all of our planting, all of our seeding, the grass on both of our fields over here. In fact let's go ahead and hit nine one time to bring up our uh, fields. So over on field 12 and then uh, field 14 as well. Th those are both ready to be mowed. And then I have set up course play to deliver those over to our new silage silo and then get back to the field. And then we'll set, I've also set up a course for, uh, for us to have a trailer here that will pick up the silage once the grass converts to silage. And that happens uh, every five minutes or so in game time. Um, a certain amount will convert over to silage and then we'll have a trailer that will take that over for our purposes it will take it over to the barn to sell it and you might be asking you know why not use the BGA uh, here in game well there's a few reasons but the main thing uh, first and foremost is just simplicity I'm at a point right now where I just want to keep this simple uh, again as I mentioned from the very beginning of this series I'm not interested in maximizing every dollar and, and really getting complex with things. I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible because in general for me in a game like this, that's the most fun for me. I don't worry too much about the money aspect of it. We'll be making tons and tons of money if all of my course play uh, recording works out and we don't get people stuck everywhere and all of that kind of thing. So this could go really well or it could also go really bad, but we're about to find out which one it is. And to get ourselves started, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the worker get started harvesting our wheat. And let's see, let's get over to, all right, this guy is going to be tasked with, uh, I have a course play course for him to do. And let's see, let's get him loaded up. This is field 15. And on field 15, he is going to unload the combine. So we're going to see how well that works out for him and let's see let's have him start at the first drive the course it should drive up to the first waypoint and okay he did not <laughs> so we are all right, let's not do an automatic search let's go ahead and pick this one guy okay so far so good again it like I said this might turn out completely bad or it might turn out perfectly fine we shall see all right so he's attached to this particular combine right now he's just running the course but i fully expect him to stop when he gets back through because right now he doesn't have anything to unload just yet but so far so good on following the course that is good i'll take these little victories where i can get them right now make sure he does that and then we'll move on and get some other guys up and running all right if I've done things properly he should get to the starting point okay now he says no combine within reach waiting to, until fill level is reached if you're wondering where I'm reading this stuff from it's at the bottom of the screen sort of in the middle at the bottom of the course play window so waiting until fill level is reached excellent that's what I want because now that means Let's see, let me see if I can remember which screen this is on. There we go. So we want him to start at, uh, let's go ahead and have him start at, let's just do 90% and drive on. 
at uh, that'll be let's see let's have him drive on I can't remember exactly what percentage he fills up to but let's just keep it simple and, and run it down to about 40 percent it should be well over that but what this means is he will drive on out of the field in other words he'll get out of the way of the combine and return his way uh, you know onto the rest of the course and then come back to here once it reaches at least 40 percent full which for this sort of entry level trailer, he will be well over that, so that'll be no problem at all. Offsets we're gonna leave as is. Automatic should work fine there. Turning circle again, everything automatic should be okay. He's found everything there. Okay, so I think we are ready to go there. So now let's get our first grass mowing session up and going. No course loaded there. So we're gonna take care of that here shortly. This is field 12, so let's expand that. We've got two actual courses here, one for the actual coursework of driving around mowing the grass, and then one for actually unloading into our uh, silage silo. So let's do the field work one first, get that one loaded up, and we'll turn on so you can see the, the way this is going to work. What I've done on this one is I am actually using three headlands on this and he's going to be going in a clockwise motion around the outside and what the headlands means and why I'm using that is uh, the headlands means he's going to go around the edges first and then he's going to do his back and forth last okay and the reason I'm using the headlands here is because I want to make sure that we have plenty around the edge this is to help out with any obstructions that they might run into in this case we know we've got a road that runs right down this side, so I'm going to try to keep him off the road as much as possible and make him do as much of the work here on the field as we can. So that's why I'm using that, but it's an option. You don't necessarily have to do that, and things might work out perfectly fine without it, but uh, for our purposes, I'm going to go ahead and use the headlands for this, and then we're now going to load up secondarily. We're going to unload the grass, so now you can see uh, sort of the path that he's going to take. Our solid silo is right here. So he will run his way down following the roads, more or less, unload at the silo, and then get his way back from there. Okay, let's turn that off and get back sure, make sure we got field work enabled. All right, and now we want, we're going to get our guy over here. I can't remember exactly where. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put him on drive course and let's see if he can get started. All right, so he's going to have to turn around. Okay, so I should have started him over on the other side. But I think everything should be perfectly fine. It'll just take him a minute to get himself all oriented. Again, I was doing all of this in kind of a hurry today. And I couldn't remember exactly how it all turned out. But it looks like we're doing pretty good so now he's going to run the edges of the course he's going to run around the edges and you can see that we are picking up the grass at his, as it is mowed and he's going to do this three times and that's going to buy us a little bit of room around the edges for him to use uh, as he turns around on the field okay we're going to follow him a little bit and just make sure he gets everything done that he needs to and then we'll work our way around and then of course as uh, we continue on with this work once he gets completely full which he's at 30 percent right now so it's not going to take him very long into this video to get done uh, once he hits a hundred percent then we'll see how he does with the unloading and so on all right but for right now uh, let's see, turn on the field. Uh, we'll keep that activated. Uh, the headland should help out with that. We might be able to uh, inactivate that. But for right now, we're actually going to leave that on just as is. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, I'll leave most of this alone for right now. Again, street speed I have reduced a little bit just to keep these guys from taking these corners a little bit too fast when it is applicable and now he's finishing up his first trip around now he's going to go 
time number two around. And again, this is purely optional. You don't have to use the headlands if you don't want to. Uh, in this case, I don't think it was really necessary, but I'm trying to build in a little bit of margin of error here more than anything. All it would do uh, realistically is cost us a little bit of time uh, or maybe uh, a little bit of, of the grass pickup. But I'm not terribly worried about that. Uh, if you're familiar with how the silage works in these games, we are going to make quite a bit of money off of silage. So it's not going to be a big issue for me. To give you an idea, um, I did a little bit of testing here in this particular field. Field number 12 actually gets uh, somewhere around 150,000 liters of grass. So you can see that's a lot. And if we take a look, uh, if we take a look now, it does aggravate me that every time <laughs> I undo these, I uncheck these, uh, and I come back in the game, they are always checked once again. Uh, but if we come in and we look at the prices, all right, we're going to scroll over a little bit because what we're actually looking for is the silage right here. Now, currently, we don't have any in storage. That's what you would expect. Now, these prices, if we look here, we can sell silage at the barn for five sixty-six, dollars or we can take it to the BGA or the biogas plant for six sixty-four. dollars So if you're trying to maximize money, the barn isn't where you want to be right now. But that's okay because, as I see, our guy is now finished and working his way toward the unload. So we'll uh, get out of this and go back to him. But these prices change quite a bit. In fact, when I first turned the game back on um, and prepared for this, the prices were over 1000 So now we're down to about half that, and they change quite a bit. So I'm just not going to mess with it. We're going to use what's easiest for us, which is going to be selling at the barn because it is by far the closest and best option for us right now. So we're not going to worry too much about the prices. Let's make sure this guy unloads. And there you go. He is indeed. Okay, so he's going pretty good. Now I want to see how everything is going here. Here comes our trailer. He has automatically pulled up next to our guy. Looks like he's going to be right on line for where he needs to be. Let's tab over to him. Okay, now he stops. He's going to let the unload process happen. In the distance over there, you can see our other grass cutting measures. And it looks like he is back where he needs to be. And he's back cutting grass, or about to be, I should say. You can see him heading across the field right now to get back to his location. So, so far, so good. Uh, of course, we don't have the equipment just yet. We don't have the money to work uh, this field simultaneously, but we'll be purchasing equipment to do that as we continue uh, to earn more money. Same thing here. We'll be upgrading our equipment here and getting a larger uh, and better tipper. There we go. So now... We are completely done there. So right at 80% full. Okay, now he's waiting, he says, until his waiting position is free. So that might mean that he's waiting. Yeah, he was sort of waiting, I believe, for the combine uh, to move on. So now he is going to turn around and head on about his business. Let's make sure he goes where he needs to go. There we go. He's going to take a little roundabout way, but now he's going to get back online. And he should drive on about the course. Now, one problem is you can see he's going to be right in the way of this combine if the timing is right. So right now, it looks like he's going to slow down and wait for the combine, which is exactly what we want him to do to avoid any collisions. All right, so far, so good. I am very happy with how things are turning out to this point. Okay, now he's slowing down because you see the message at the bottom of our course play window. He's reached the tip trigger. All right, so far so good. I am 
I'm elated at this point because, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will freely admit that at this point in time, uh, as we're about to have collision, I will admit that at this point in time, my frame of mind is not the best right now, so it's kind of amazing to me at this point that I got it this far. Alright, there we go. So he is in good shape. Now it looks like we have ended the work on the headlands and now he is in the back and forth portion of this particular course and I have made this course three meters wide even though that our uh, our mower is actually 3.1 meters wide in working coverage but I've reduced it a little bit just to keep things simple uh, in course play they generally recommend that you try to use even uh, increments like 3.0 or 3.5 stuff like that uh, so you can see he's not getting his full, full working width right now but he is almost done he is at 92 93 percent now so he's about ready to once again go and offload so in the meantime what we will do is as soon as he gets to hundred percent again all right, you can see he's trying to keep everything he's doing, all of his work, he's trying to keep on the field, which is the way we've set it up for now. So he's going to try to turn around, which is a lengthy process. I actually prefer the way it was done uh, before, where he didn't go through this and it didn't take quite as much time. But again, for safety purposes, I'm going to let him do his thing because ultimately, I would rather him take extra time to get the job done and get it done without incident as opposed to trying to do it much quicker and have a whole bunch of incidents where he gets stuck on things or misses a large portion of uh, the field. So again, we're going for safety purposes even though it is definitely going to take him longer to do so. Alright, so we'll watch him. Again, he's going to back up and try to stay on the field as much as he possibly can but you can see we've not touched the road so that is a very good thing that's what using the headlands uh, can help out some with so now he's using up and there we go you heard the the beeping sound that was letting us know that he was almost full now he is completely full and as he works his way over to the unload point that's where we will actually stop at the unload point and see just how much of the grass has been converted over to silage. I think it's about 1500 liters per five minutes of game time. So right now we're working on real time but going forward I will be greatly increasing the time scale as we do this uh, simply because I want more of that silage to be converted quicker so that we can get more done in uh, less time here in the game. We're at a point where uh, we want to maximize that. Now, in the future, we will play around with uh, the time scale in the game to get done what we need to get done. Okay, let's go ahead and hop out. We'll let him do his thing. But as we walk up here, you can see that the grass was a, just under 19,000. Now he's going to add a little over 21,000 to that. There we go. Now we're up to 40,000 liters and 2,500 of that has actually already uh, been moved over to silage. So it's been converted already and if we had a, uh, a trailer here ready to be loaded it would have 2,500 in it already. So that's sort of how things are going to work and you can also see how an increased time scale is going to help us out. We're not getting near enough of the grass converted to silage to be doing this realistically on real time because we're going to be full in this particular silo before this guy is done. So imagine if we were working both of these fields or even all three of these fields. Imagine how quickly we would fill up this 100,000 liters. So we're going to need to increase the time scale some to even all of this out. But for right now, because we have our other trailer over here, he is otherwise engaged uh, at this point. So we're going to leave it at real time. But as we move forward, we earn more money. We'll be able to get uh, a dedicated trailer 
for each operation. And hey, we'll be moving things right along and everything will be fine and dandy at that point. All right, let's see how we're doing. So this guy is moving right along. He's going to have, what, about three more trips down before, I would imagine, before he's done. So he's moving right along. Let's see. Uh, we're keeping that extra tractor right now. That's going to be the tractor we'll use for cultivating and seeding. Okay, everything going good. Let's head back over and see how our grass mowing is moving along. Okay, again, he's backing up to get himself in place. Now he's going to fo pull forward to where he actually left off since he got a portion of this particular row done. There we go. Uh, in fact, let's move over here, turn on fill, let's deactivate that. And let's see what kind of a change that makes. Let's see how he turns around from there. We've seen what he does when it, that particular mode is activated. But now that we've deactivated, you can see he's going to pull a little bit farther up beyond the field. And then he's going to try to turn around. But now you can notice, look at just how much of the land beyond the field he's using in order to do this. That's why both headlands can be uh, really good and also using that turn on field can be a good thing as well. If you're using some fields that don't have a lot of room on the edges for things like turning around, like let's say you have trees or uh, the power poles that are on some of the maps, let's say you have a lot of that type of thing, then using the headlands and turn on field can be a really great thing. So we'll leave this deactivated for a few more moments because let's see how much of the road he uses this time by. All right, so he's pulling to the end of his row. Oh, looks like we've got some traffic on the other, but we're not going to worry about that. We'll come back to that in just a moment if we need to. But now you can see he is well out using the entire road. So if we had traffic on, which I have uh, turned off, as I mentioned in previous video, that I was going to eventually turn that off, I have done so. He could potentially be in traffic and get run over at this point. So that's the difference in turning on the field being activated versus inactivated. We'll turn that back on and we'll head over and see what kind of traffic we've actually got. Oh my goodness. All right, I have no idea what has happened here. Let's go ahead and try to get this guy. Yeah, that is quite odd how that happened. Let's give him a little room and try. All right, drive on. Let's just say nearest waypoint and have him drive on. All right, he's trying to drive behind the combine. And let's hang with it. Oh my goodness, where is he going? Wow. Okay, now I see what he's having trouble with. All right, first of all, uh, let's see if we can figure on what is happening with this. All right, I don't see anything right now, so we're going to try to get him unstuck at this point. And we'll, work, we'll come back to this. All right, so uh, drive course once again. He's trying to get to the combine. Let's go to the combine. Who is that? Yes, he is at 100% now. That explains what he was trying to do. I'm just still not quite sure why he was trying to turn that way. All right, but we got him all straightened out for now. Let's see if we can figure out exactly what was uh, turning circle. Can we reduce this? <laughs> Let's try to reduce this and see what happens. It might have things go horribly awry. 
but we're going to try to reduce this by half and see if that helps out any. Just never know what sort of issues you're going to run into with uh, course play. Most of them, I freely admit, are of my own doing. And that is certainly the case, I believe, here in this instance. But no need to worry. We'll get it all squared away. We'll let the Combine go on about his business. Because he is nearly done. He's got... He's probably not going to get all of this in his next pass down. Uh, so he's probably got a couple more passes till he is completely done. And then once that happens, we'll, we'll have our trailer freed up. Uh, to be able to go and work some with uh, the silage. In fact, with that in mind, let's go ahead and move up to... Yep, he is trying to turn around. It would be nicer if he had a little bit better awareness about where he's at. And obstacles that are nearby, but with that not being the course... Alright, he's saying he is in traffic. He is clearly not... Let's get him on by this and see if he will go on about his business. And sure enough, he does. All right, let's let him go ahead and take care of that. Again, moving the time scale forward to 30 times right now will allow the silage to be uh, converted quite a bit quicker as five minutes will pass a lot quicker using 30 times than it will at real time. All right, so that's actually gonna be his last uh, full load. And then he'll have one more load uh, to deal with when, when we're actually done uh, on the field. I'm actually going to go ahead and stop him there. Yeah, let's go ahead and check in on our our mower. Looks like he is done once again. I believe this, if I remember correctly, is his third time. Uh, this will also give you an idea. Since I told you there's somewhere around 145 to 150,000 liters of grass on just that field, on just field 12, it gives you an idea of how many times he's going to have to run through this unload process. It also gives you an idea of why having better equipment that can uh, hold more grass or more uh, chaff or anything like that is really uh, a big deal because it means more time mowing grass and less time having to come over and unload. But for our purposes, this will work just fine. It'll take a little bit more time, but that is certainly not a huge deal. All right, he's made it back to the field. You see our notice in the top right-hand corner, helper A has completed the task. That would be the combine. So with that in mind, let's work our way over to All right, let's get this thing unloaded real quickly. All right, I need to hop back in the combine actually real quick. And let's move the pipe out. So I'll know exactly where to put our trailer un underneath. There we go. You might also notice that as I am uh, tabbing our way through all of the vehicles to swap vehicles, that the trains are no longer showing up uh, in that selection. I, before, I actually thought I had that setting uh, turned off, but it uh, turns out I didn't, or I didn't save it either way. But now we've gotten that taken care of and the trains no longer appear in our selection as we're working our way through our list of vehicles. All right, let's get this unloaded and then we'll set up a couple of other routes that, that we need to test out. There we go. Let's go ahead and manually unload this since we're not actually using 
course play and I'm actually going to cut through here. All right, so this guy is now done with this particular field. So now I'm going to get him loaded. All right, let's actually stop him right here. This is where it's going to get a little weird because we're going to have to cut over part of this ramp. Okay, so no course loaded, so we're free to get a new course for him. And let's go to the farm. And let's see, where did I put it? Farm salad, sell it at the barn. There we go, it's the one I want. And this is actually a grain transport where we're going to work with silage. There we go. Number of runs to perform. We'll leave that at unlimited. Start at the nearest point. And here we go. So now he should pick up the course, hopefully without running into anything. And let's see how he handles it. So again, he's going to have to run up and over the side here. There he goes, he stops and gets what silage has already been converted from the grass. Let's see how much that actually is. Uh, let's actually slow him down quite a bit. Yeah, 15 is a little better. I may slow him down even more than that. Because you can see, he's taking these corners pretty quick. Nowhere near 6 miles an hour, that's for sure. All right, looks like we're actually going to get very close to a full load right now. Okay, he's got his full load, and now he's going to head on around to the barn. As you can see, he's only going 15 because I've slowed him down quite a bit. That's perfectly fine with me. Again, slower is better if it means less chance of any issues. Okay, and as soon as he gets to the barn, so he's going to turn off here. And hopefully he makes it through the barn in good shape. There he goes. He sees that the, the trigger has been reached, or he's very close to it anyway. Here's where that camera collision mod is really helping. So now he unloads the silage. And you can see in the top right-hand corner how much money we're getting from the sale of the silage. So 8,000 silage has given us about $4,500. So we're somewhere around in the five to $600 range on the price of silage. We'll look at that here again momentarily. All right, we're actually gonna exit. We're gonna let him do his, his thing, hop up and over the ramp there. Unfortunately, we have to do it that way for now. Gonna load up some more silage. Oh yeah, look at that, we have converted most of the grass over to silage at this point. So this guy's going to be busy for a little while. This is also why, in fact, let me go ahead and get off of the ramp just in case uh, we're unloading grass again at some point. I don't want to be in the way of that. So this is also would be advantageous for us to have a better trailer. So we're going to get to that at some point. We'll have a, a tractor and a trailer combination that will be dedicated just for this. Because remember, we're going to have not one field, but two fields going simultaneously. So we're going to need uh, to be able to unload that silage very quickly, uh, especially with using the 30 times speed on the time scale. All right, so everything seems to be working perfectly fine. We'll keep an eye out for everything. Now we can turn our attention back over to field 15. We'll go ahead and put our put our combine back in storage. And then we're going to get back to the field work here. And go ahead and replant our wheat. There we go. We'll hop out there and hop in our other tractor, which I am now going to need to unload the cedar because we're going to need to cultivate first. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Alright, why can we not move? There we go. We're on a little bit of an incline there and it didn't want to move. Okay, go ahead and detach there. 
get the cultivator attached. Maybe. I thought we were pretty close on that. Let's zoom in. Yeah, there we go. Maybe I just didn't get quite close enough. Get our cultivator. Now we'll be using the standard AI for this. You could use course play for this, but uh, as of now, I have not set up any, and, and in all likelihood, probably will not be setting up course play uh, for this for the time being, and, and unless I see a real need to do so. Uh, and so far, I just don't see that. I think we're perfectly fine using the standard game AI for you know the cultivating and the seeding type aspects. Let's follow along and make sure. Uh, running a little long, longer than I had intended on this video, but I really want you guys to be able to see, uh, as well as me, I am very interested to in make sure all of this is working. And so far, I'd have to say this is a, a success. We've had a few issues uh, with the turning radius and, and that sort of thing, but overall, I am very happy with how things are going. So now we've got our silage in here, and once again, he's going to offload that. into our barn which is extremely convenient another forty five hundred dollars you can see in the top right hand corner now let's take a quick look at our prices so you can see we're at 570 here if we took it to the biogas plant we get 664 uh, price has been increasing there uh, it changes so often and so drastically even on a daily basis uh, within the game that uh, to me, it's not really worth chasing the highest price. We'll just let it ride at, at the barn. Uh, and we'll see. Again, we got a large map to deal with here. So I definitely would like to use the biogas plant at some point in the future, but uh, we'll get to that at the appropriate time. For now, we have successfully made our first run through of field 12. And we're now unloading the grass from field 12 into our solid silo. And we have the trailer that is accepting that silage and selling it here at the barn. So that seems to be working very nicely on a loop. And very happy about that. And of course, that's going to give us quite a bit of money. Again, just for field 12, we're looking at somewhere between 150000 on the high end of what we could reasonably expect to make and somewhere around 70 to 75,000 each time we mow that field. So that is a lot of money to be getting and you can imagine once we are working with field 14 as well that that is also going to leave us with quite a bit of profit between these two fields from uh, the silage. Oh, let's go ahead and close that out. There we go. We're up to 116,000 in our bank account, and we are nowhere near. All right, let's see what happens here. Possibility for a collision. And remember, they're both going to the same place. And let's see how they handle this. This will be a great way to find this out. All right, so our our grass trailer gets up and out of the way, leaving plenty of room for the bumpy ride of our silage trailer. Very nice. I am pretty ecstatic right now. I did not think this was going to work out quite this nicely. So let's go ahead and take one more look at... So now we've got, of course, just that one load of grass that was just dropped off. And it is quickly being uh, converted into silage. And yeah, we've got enough for this size trailer. He's basically as quickly as he can make the turn there the next load is ready for him to take. So I'm going to call this video a, a very nice success. And thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned as we continue the madness that is course play in Farming Simulator 17.